This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. It's Tuesday today, which means we're doing a top five list. And uh, a little while ago on, in this series of videos, I did uh, my favourite story songs St songs that as the title suggests tell a story they have a narrative um a, a yarn to spin with a beginning a middle and an end and a narrative that uh, goes through with, with you know kind of protagonists and characters in the songs essentially that kind of thing those tend to be the kind of songs that i usually gravitate towards to that's what i like in a lyric um then a, a few weeks ago on the live stream someone suggested why not do a top five tuesday about your uh, favourite song lyrics and I thought well I've kind of already done that but it wouldn't do any harm to have another go at it and maybe think of this as an appendix to that video about the story songs not all of these songs are stories three of them are two of them well they're not really but um, what they all have in common are lyrics that just give me that tingle down my spine for whatever reason songs that if I were to sing in the shower, <laughs> which I don't, um, these would be the songs I would sing. There's uh, possibly a couple of these are a little bit obscure, so I'm hoping that I might just kind of um, turn you on to a couple of great artists here uh, that you may or possibly possibly may not have uh, heard of up to this point. So let's get started straight away with... Old by Henry Priestman. Yeah, Henry Priestman. He was in a band in the 80s... Um, called the christians who again were very um because i think two of the brothers in the band their surname was christian um and um he he was i think one of the songwriters in this band and you know they had a couple of hits uh forgotten town and ideal world were uh, i think the two big hits that i seem to remember of them and yeah, he was, as I say, one of their uh, their main songwriters. And in 2008, so it's a while ago now, 15 years, do you me? Um, he came out with an album called The Chronicles of Modern Life, which I've mentioned on this uh, on this channel several times. And um, just any of the songs off that album I could have picked because he is such a fantastic lyricist. I've linked to all of these examples down below. And the um, the one that we're going to talk about today is the song called Old which um, is just him documenting the uh, the process of becoming uh, a middle-aged chap, you know. And, um, you know, the, the line that really kind of just hit me in the chest when I heard it was, uh, and when I try to make some sense of it, the laughter takes a hold. I'm the same age that my father was when I first thought he was old. That's ah, just poetic, isn't it? That's just beautiful. <clears throat> so, yeah. Go and check out the uh, the Henry Priestman album, Chronicles of Modern Life. I'm sure if you like a well-written lyric, you'll enjoy it. And this song in particular, it's called Old. Next. Rex Bob Lowenstein by Mark Gimino and the Sluggers. Yes. Now, back in the late 80s and early 90s, um, the main sort of pop music radio station in the UK is called Radio 1. And as I said, back in that period of time, Every Saturday afternoon, they used to clear all of the teeny boppers out of the building. Uh, there was no top 40 stuff there. And I think it was either Johnny Walker or Richard Skinner. Um, both of these uh, DJs hosted the show. Um, and it, was, it went from like about 1pm on a, on a Saturday till 6pm. It was a big chunk of time where they just used to play proper music, good music. You know, kind of, um, you know, music for an adult audience, let's say. And... Uh, yeah, I think they actually interviewed this guy, Mark Gimino, and he did like a live session, just him and an acoustic guitar. And I think there is a version of this song, uh, Knocking Around, which is just a recording of that. But the, my favourite version of this is um, the one where he's with his band, uh, The Sluggers, Mark Gimino and The Sluggers. Rex Bob Lowenstein uh, is a song about the, uh, the titular character who is a small town radio DJ who is um, who plays any and all kinds of music 
and kind of gets into trouble for it. Um, as well as being a fantastic lyric, it's just a great hummable tune, and the performance on this on this album on on this song rather is just you know fantastic. You, you can tell he's putting everything into this uh, this vocal performance. He's not, you know, he's no Pavarotti or Paul Rogers or anything like that, but just the grit and um, verve with which he sings. It's kind of in a similar sort of vein as maybe Bob Seger or uh, Springsteen or that that sort of vaguely Californian-esque country rock. Oh, Springsteen isn't from California, but you know what I mean? It's that sort of singer-songwriter rock with loads of crunchy guitars and uh, Hammond organs and, and everything. Really well worth ch- checking out because it's a great-sounding uh, song, but just listen to the lyrics as well. I'm sure you will uh, have quite a smile on your face by the end of it. So there you go, Rex Bob Loinstein by Mark Gimino and the Sluggers. Next. Brain Damage. Eclipse. By Pink Floyd. Yes, for me, uh, this is the best track on the best album possibly ever recorded. I know that's it's a big claim, that, isn't it? But Dark Side of the Moon is one of those albums that routinely comes in the top five of greatest albums ever recorded. And for me, it, it's got to be somewhere near number one. And what can I tell you? I've spoken about this uh, this song many times. Um, I can listen to the whole album. It's um, it, It's a little bit like... That Spinal Tap movie. You'll see where I'm going with this. Uh, you can't just watch one scene from the Spinal Tap movie, can you? You know, you put it on just to check out this particular scene, that scene. Before you know where you are, you watch the whole film. Dark Side of the Moon, for me, is an album like that. You can't just listen to a snippet from it. You've got to listen to the whole thing from start to finish. Once you put it on, there's no stopping. And for me, the, the final line of lyrics on the album is just the crowning glory to it. Um, you know, when the sun is eclipsed by the moon, that whole brain damage eclipse kind of pair of songs that sort of morph into each other. Um, you know, that the starts with a lunatic is on the grass or, or the lunatic is a man. You know, you know the song I'm talking about. Um, you know, just that sort of where it reaches the peak at the end of the album uh, with that line, you know, the, and the sun is eclipsed by the moon. It's just a, it's just poetry all the way through. And that song for me is is just Again, hairs on the back of my neck, if I had any, um, would stand on end uh, listening to that song. I never, ever tire of it, and it has to be in any list of my favourite song lyrics. So there you go. Brain Damage and Eclipse by Pink Floyd. Next. Up the Junction by Squeeze. Yeah, another one of the uh, the story songs. This is a song that I don't think, well, I know for certain, would never get recorded these days because um, where's the chorus? You know, even that catchy uh, keyboard kind of hook uh, was apparently done as an afterthought. You know, da 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 that part. Um, you know, the, the song was recorded, and then the record company said, "Yeah, but put something catchy in there." So that they came up with that little pentatonic riff that um, that essentially kind of hooks you in. It's a fantastic song that tells the story of um, well, it tells the story of a of a young chap who um, falls in love and then falls out, well, his his wife uh, falls out of love with him, you know. Um, and it's just, it's beautifully tragic is the best way I can uh, put this, Put this, you know. It, it's just, it's, a, it's an everyday, every man, working man's experience, uh, this song. Um, you know, I think it's one of those songs that everyone can relate to. I, I think it dates from, what, 78 or 79? And... Um, you know, it's a story that will never ever age. It's it's just a fantastically beautifully beautifully written lyric. And um, was it Glenn Tilbrook or Chris Difford who wrote this? I'm not sure, but they certainly were, were a writing team. I think uh, it may even have been a joint effort. Whoever it was, you know, hats off to um, to the to the lyricist on this song because it is just utterly utterly beautiful. And again, I'll never ever tire of hearing it. Next, Lord I. By CCR. Yes, not one of CCR's uh, biggest known hits. You think of Creedence Clearwater Revival and you think of Bad Moon Rising or you think of um, Fortunate Son, Travelling Band, uh, Have You Ever Seen the Rain, all of those kind of big hits. But this, for me, is one of their sleeper tracks. Um, And it's a song that I think John Fogarty probably lived um, you know, when you listen to the to the story of the song, this is one of the, as I say, the story songs on this list. Uh, it's a song that you know. This is an experience he's been through, where just it 
it just kind of relates or um, regales us with the tale of um, a typical down at heel working musician who's you know good at his craft but has never quite had the breaks and um, you know running out of money running out of time you know and it, it's just it's a as a as a one-time working musician myself it is um it's a story that i can relate to and again just beautifully written um i think it's you know it's one of those songs where um you know just the lyrics just you you forget that you're listening to a lyric you forget that it's um you know it's rhyming in all of the right places and it scans correctly with the rhythm of the song and everything it just you, you don't care about that it's just the story that you're listening to and it's a great sounding record as well it's a great sounding tune um that's well you know what ccr sound like it's it sounds typically them but um you know, fantastically performed, fantastically written song, Lodi by Creedence Clearwater Revival. If you're not uh, familiar with it, go and check it out. And there you have it, folks. Those are another five of my favourite um, lyrics to favourite song lyrics. Make of them what you will. Hope you go and check out any of the ones uh, in, as I say, the links are in the description that you aren't familiar with, because certainly the two that I'm thinking that might have flown a little bit under your radar, the uh, Henry Priestman one and the Mark Gimeno one are definitely well worth checking out. Two guys there who I think should have been, or should be, much bigger stars than they are. And that is the video for today folks i uh, hope you've enjoyed it and found it relatively entertaining and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now mm -hmm.